Welcome to the Spunky Spirit Podcast. I'm your host, psychic medium, Carrie Muggs. This is where we learn all things spirit, everything from spiritual gifts, awakenings, ghosts, aliens, and star seeds. Nothing is untouchable, but always fun and spunky. I am honored to be on this spiritual journey with you, so make sure you hit the subscribe button so you never miss an episode. Hello, hello, and welcome to this episode of Spunky Spirit. I am psychic medium Carrie Muggs, and today we are going to talk about how you are the magic, how you have everything you need inside of you. And I'm just so excited about this because I just finished my very first retreat called Sacred Soul, and it was way like beyond anything that I ever imagined. I in fact, to even talk about it is it's cuz it was so sacred and there were so many things, so many so much, so I mean we you could not leave that that retreat with that just denying that there's something bigger than us or spirit or anything like that and the and the synchronicities and honestly the power that you have inside of you. It's just we just don't see that. A lot of people think that you know, the gifts that other people have or my gifts of being a medium or a psychic are gifts. But honestly, they're abilities. They're abilities that we all have, that we all can tap into. The secret is just finding how. And there's a lot to that. Like a lot of it is about energy inside of us and soul fractures and trauma, all of that. That's the shadow work part of it. But today I kind of wanted to talk about the magic part of it, the magic and the manifesting or spell casting or praying. Honestly, they're all the same. It doesn't matter, and I told this to my group, and it's, but it doesn't matter if you're on your knees praying by your bed or if you're in your office dressed as a witch and saying words. Words have power. Your words have power. That's why it's so important to, it's why, that's why it's called spells. That's what, there was a quote by Bruce Lee. Let me find it. It was in my, um, in my manual for the retreat, and I loved it because it says, your body believes what it tells it. That's why it's called spells. Not only your body, but your spirit. Any kind of words. That's why words have so much power. And when you put words with emotion, which emotion is just your energy in motion, you put words with emotion and match a vibration, and you are going to be so extremely powerful. The thing is, is we doubt ourselves, or we question ourselves, or we think we're not that powerful. And and we are. We have everything we need inside of us. We just can create whatever we want. We we put it out into the universe and the universe or God, the divine, helps us to do this. And so I just honestly, I know this may seem a little out there, but I want you to imagine yourself as this bad ass sorceress or sorcerer or, you know, just imagine that you have these great powers like the one on Mickey Mouse on Fantasia. Like you can, you can do that. The apprentice, I don't, I don't care, but you honestly, we, we doubt those powers. We talk about them, we make movies about them, we do all these things and then we doubt them because it doesn't look like the way Hollywood portrayed it. And that, and then it, it just kind of disintegrates or, or makes our, our abilities look so minuscule. And that's not how it is. We have so much power inside of ourselves to do what we want to do. We are here to create. We That's just how who we are. That's what we do. We want to create these things. And we want to have this journey that we create things and find joy in this. And, and part of it is, yes, having having some life crap happen to you and, and figuring out how to get your emotions through it because life, honestly, can be emotionally abusive and earth is hard. But you know what? We're here to conquer that. We're here to raise frequency, vibration, and part of manifesting is part of that. And it's it's a beautiful, beautiful thing because you want to be the energy that that you attract. You you need to be the energy that you attract. And all all of your future success, everything that you want, all your goals, everything, it has to be envisioned by your mind first. You have to visualize it first. You have to know what you want. And I love it because 
here's the thing. If you don't know what you want, a lot of people are like, I'm not sure what I want. I don't know what I want. I think that that is a facade. I think that that's a fake. And I think that that's something to cover up because here's the thing. I think you know what you want. You just don't think it's attainable. I think you already know because you could be, it's okay to want a lot of money, to have peace, to do, it's okay to do those things because when you have more money, you can help more people and you can reach more people. So your intention, really, it's all about intention. It's all about how you feel and when you reach that vibration. And so maybe that's why people who are greedy and want money like that is because they're in that vibration. I don't know. Probably that's how it works. So because your real job on this earth, if you took away your nine to five job, your real job on this earth is to create. That's what it is, to co-create with the universe, to create with the universe, and to create things to do to, for you, for what you need. To work, to do the work now is you have to envision what you want or who you want to be and connect with the most powerful version of yourself and design this life through your daily routine and uncover your purpose. So the trick is, is being consistent with it. So I don't know if you've ever read the book, um, The Slight Edge, and it talks about how what you do on a daily basis over time creates this thing. So if you were to like, it's, it talks about, com- it kind of talks it in an abundance sort of way, and it talks about compounding interest and but the most the most significant one that the consistency one that I liked the example that he used was McDonald's if you just ate a McDonald's every once in a while it wouldn't really have that much of effect right but if you ate McDonald's every single day and had a Big Mac every single day it would cause you ultimately in a year or two you would see a huge difference in your health you would see your health declining, you may have gained weight. And so this is why this is why exercise or daily routines, if you stay consistent, they can change your life. This is why people talk about morning routines or walking every day or doing these things. So the trick is, is if you try to create something, if you do something to create your goal or create your vision every day, then over time it will come. Also the trick is, is the more you're in alignment with this or the more you're in vibration with this, the faster it's going to come. So it sometimes we feel out of alignment or if we doubt, we can be out of alignment. But, you know, and being in alignment is kind of like being fine-tuning an instrument. You're an instrument of the universe. And when you're out of tune, you just feel it. You just know it. I know I'm out of tune when it feels like I'm paddling a kayak upstream constantly. Now you can paddle sometimes, but honestly, the trick is, is to pull in the oars and to let go and to trust spirit. And once you do that, it's magical. It's magical. And so the better your frequency or the higher your frequency, the faster your results. The secret is to have high energy and clarity, and then your goals will maintain faster. But sometimes that's hard, right? Sometimes it's hard to maintain a high energy. But if you do something daily, like meditation, or you put your goal down and you go towards it, then it will come faster. Now, what what you can do is you can envision it, and you can let it happen. But honestly, I kind of think you should... A lot of times people say you forget the how you do it. So I've had goals before that I have made or things that I want to create. And I will write in detail how you do it, how, I, how I'm going to get there. And the thing about it is, is once I put it out there and once I visualize it and once I start to work on the how, honestly, other opportunities come and it get I get there a different way. So we get so focused on, because you know those gurus out there that say, write it down, Keep the end in mind. Go backwards and write in details on how you reach that. And that is great and that is good. But don't get caught up in the how. You can write down how you're going to get there, but don't get caught up in it. Because I've done this before too. I've made goals or I've wanted to create something and I write the how. I'm going to do it in detail. And then how I get there is completely different than what I wrote. 
but at least I tried. At least I was working towards it, and at least I was staying consistent. It's like that lost key analogy that I always use. If you lose your keys, and you ask Spirit to help you find them, and then you sit on the couch, it's going to take you a lot longer to find them than if you were to get up and actively help Spirit help you. Because Spirit can say, look here, or that Spirit can move the keys. So you've got to do your part. You've got to do your part on your side. And even you just can't get too caught up on how it's going to happen. You can write how you think it's going to happen, but honestly, don't get caught up on, don't get too caught up on the how because spirit kind of has its own agenda because spirit will bring in other opportunities and different opportunities sometimes to reach that goal that are like so amazing or so crazy. So part of this, um, manifestation, how you do this is you could do it a couple of ways. You can visualize before you go to bed. You can meditate and visualize. Visualize is important and you can visualize in different ways. You can visualize like you're watching a movie, like you go into a movie theater and you watch it happening on a movie screen. All these things, these details that you want and don't get stuck on the details. This is kind of um, hard because some people say, get stuck on the details, do the details, and sometimes people don't. I don't get stuck on a lot of the details, but I do focus on how I'm feeling. So if I'm watching it on a movie screen or I'm looking at it in my head as I'm doing it, how I'm visualizing it, I the key is is you have to try and feel those emotions with it. You have to feel, okay, how's it going to feel when I feel this way? Or how's it going to feel when I do this? How am I going to feel? How How's it going to feel inside me? And sometimes that's a little hard because we don't know what it feels like. So if you are stuck there, because if we've never had that, you know, maybe we've never reached that goal. We don't know what feeling like lots of money feels like. So instead, while you're doing the visualization, feel gratitude. Be thankful and thank the universe for it already happening. Feel gratitude because gratitude and love are the highest vibration. So you can just feel the gratitude while you're visualizing it. Be like so grateful for it. That's that's the one key that I use. Also, you can do clear you can do visualization, meditation, all that kind of stuff. You can also journal it. A lot of people do this and it is awesome too because Words have power and it's written down and the written word is so powerful and it's, you create spelling, right? Like that's what, that's what it's called is spells. So just get clear on what you want and feel it and then write it down. Start to write it. Lots of people do automatic writing with this or they just, or they write how it's going to feel like they, they write down when I reach this goal, it will feel like this. Or when I do this, it'll feel like this. So, or you can just write the story. I was walking in my new cabin and this, and I felt the amazing this and I felt this. And I think that is awesome. You can do that too. Also too, I honestly, to use crystals, circles have power. I would get a crystal grid and I would write because candles are also very powerful. And I did this before my retreat. And some people are going to think this is weird, but I kind of did a spell. I got a crystal grid and I put crystals on it and I put candles around it and I lit them and I kind of said a prayer or did kind of a a spell, said a prayer, and asked that the retreat be amazing and awesome and that everybody gets what they need. And it worked. It was so good. So the trick is, is just to try and have one one foot in heaven and one foot on, on the earth. And you can do this and you can create this. And once you start, once it starts happening, it's like so amazing. Like you just, you, you can't get enough and you want to keep doing it because you realize you have the power. Okay, so today we're going to talk about a few things I have going on. If you're not on my newsletter, go to my website at carrymugs.com. This is where I'm going to start telling people about my retreats, my classes, my spirit circles, all the things that pertain to Spunky Spirit, I'm going to send out a monthly newsletter. And please be aware, I will not send out more than one a month, so I will not spam you. And that's that's how you can keep up with what's going on with Spunky Spirit. Also, I have a course, an eight-week course on my website called 
the awakening your senses, it talks about the chakras, it talks about protection, it talks about your guides, it talks about the clairs, it talks about symbols, signs and symbols and how spirit talks to you. And it talks about all these things that are going on when during your awakening. It's an eight week course. Every week you get a new module that comes to you and it's a different theme and it's awesome. So if you're going through an awakening right now, or you want to get the basics on how to get through some of those things, then this course is awesome. It's $60. You go to my website at carrymugs.com and you go under courses. Also, I have a Shopify up. It's at Instagram. It's on my Instagram account right now. It's kind of got a few things in it, but just keep watching it because we're going to add more things to it. Thank you guys. I love you so much. Okay, so here's another secret too. God, the, the goal is to connect to your spiritual nature daily. If like whatever with your, you just create and 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 get into your spiritual realm daily in your in your spirit. Like I say this all the time, everything is magic. The Native Americans think that there's there's you know, messages and everything throughout your daily life. Because you know why? Because spirit never leaves you. Spirit's with you all the time. So the spirit's always talking to you. And so it's just something that you have to get used to and you have to start allowing. And once you start seeing it, you start seeing it everywhere. And it's crazy. It's so awesome. Um, you have to think big. You can't, spirit doesn't, un, spirit thinks of money as a frequency, not as as a material thing. So you can ask for $1 or $1,000. The trick is you. You believe you can manifest a dollar. So that's what happens. But you don't believe you can manifest a $1,000. So you doubt yourself and don't let it come through. So I suggest you start with little things. You start with, okay, I want to see a feather three times today. Or I want to see an owl today. Or I want to see this today. Or I want to create a dollar and have a dollar come into my life today. So, and the thing is too, is it, and this is the how, it might not be a legit dollar bill. It might be that somebody calls and says, hey, I'm going to take you to lunch. That's the dollar, okay? So you have to be open to all the ways it comes through because sometimes it comes through differently than how you expect it, okay? And another thing, thank the universe in advance. Thank God every day. Just say, thank you, God, for my new cabin. Thank you, God, for the dollar that you're going to send me. Just be that bold. Just be that bold and know that it's going to happen. It's so cool. And I had a friend that was kind of thought that this was kind of bold of me to do. But honestly, gratitude is the highest frequency. So why not just be grateful for what's already coming here? Because you know what? What is there? Your purpose, it's already there. You just have to reach that vibration. That, your goal and this thing that you're going to create, it's already there waiting for you. You just have to reach that vibration and get in alignment with it. Um, and you need to be energized. You need to be amped up about this. You need to be excited about this. You can't be like, oh, I got to do this again today because that's not the frequency that you want to be at, right? You want to be at the amped up, energetic, enthusiastic, and that is hard to be 24-7. So don't expect yourself to be there 24-7, but just try to be there when you can be. Um, and I want you to say, you know, stay consistent, stay the course, stay, do it every day, every day, do something. Even if you write it down in a journal, all your goals every day, stay consistent. Cause you'll be, uh, you'll be surprised that, you know, five years from now, you'll look back at that and be like, oh my gosh, I wrote that down. So focus, focus, whatever you focus on expands. So if you focus on the bad, that's what you're going to get. If you focus on the good, that's what you're going to get. And um, experiment. Have fun with this. Have good intentions. Set your intentions and move forward. The, the, the thing is, is if you need it or want it so badly that it's blocking you, you have to be in a good place in your life now. You have to be okay with where you are in the now because spirit works in the now. You can't hate the now and want to get you got to figure out how to make the now good before you can move forward. So if you're in a job you hate and you cry every day, then change jobs or try and find a different perspective or try and do something so you're not hating where you are now, even if you have to do something drastic. Because honestly, if you're crying every day in the shower and hating your job, it's going to take you that much longer to manifest a new one. So you've got to be grateful for what you're in now, which is really, really hard but it's when I was working at one of my jobs that I hated, I would cry every day going to work and I would beg for a new one and, and visualize a new one. But honestly, I finally just had to quit that job, quit it and 
and surrender and hope that I did find something else. And when I was in that something else, then I started to relax. And then I actually manifested what I really wanted, which was doing mediumship full time. So you've got to be, if you're in pain or low frequency all day, you got to figure out how to make that work. And that's what, that's what shadow work is. That's what trauma stuff is. And that's why, um, so many people talk about this stuff because to manifest stuff, you really need to be in a, in a kind of a good vibration. I mean, you can do it from a low vibration, but it just takes longer. So, so really figure out how to heal or to make things better or change perspective or have a different mindset because, because the faster you heal all of that emotional or physical stuff, you can get into alignment with the spiritual stuff. And it's, it's crazy. So we talked about, um, did, Identify what you want, know what you don't, if you don't know what you want, honestly, if some people are like, I still don't know what I want, even though I think, then just figure out what you don't want. That's kind of the easiest way, go backwards, say, okay, I know I don't want this, and 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 then that helps you create, okay, so that means I do want this. So what you usually want is the opposite of what you don't want, so try and figure out what you don't want. And know, too, that you can't manifest anything for anybody else. Now, you can get groups together with an intention, and this is what prayers does, does. this is why prayers have so much power. You can get groups together and um, fast for somebody or pray for somebody or send good good vibes to somebody and this can this can help them but you cannot manifest anything for anybody else especially if they don't want it if you're like manifesting a job for somebody else and they're not in that they're not in that frequency and they're not in that vibration if they did get the job they probably wouldn't be able to hold on to it so you cannot manifest anything for anybody else you can send good vibes and love and gratitude and prayers to other people. And yes, they do have energy. If you send prayers to anybody, they receive that energy. So, um, but you cannot, you cannot send, um, any kind of, you cannot manifest some, something for somebody else. So, um, you need to, Right, we t- talked about journaling and writing it out and focus and take action. Focus and let go. Let go of what's not working. If something's not working for you, then let it go. Like I did that job. Like I didn't honestly have another job there, but I was like, I'm not going to be able to find one in this in this mindset and pay- pain. And I took a big leap and I just said, I'm doing it. So because nothing can really come to you, and I'm not saying quit your job, but nothing really can come to you. Nothing better can come come to you if you are not, if you don't let go of what's not serving you. So you have to let go of what's not serving you. So what you want can come in. So if you're hanging on to one relationship and asking for a better one, then sometimes this can work because the one you're in can become better. You can change your mindset or perspective. Or if you want somebody completely new, they're not going to really bring somebody in completely new unless you let go of the one you're in. So that's kind of that's kind of that. And just know that you, if you find yourself thinking bad thoughts or, or thoughts or intrusive thoughts, then stop, stop in the middle of it, rewind it, and then imagine what you do want, because that is powerful. That is powerful because you don't want to keep like anytime I have intrusive thoughts, like if I'm home alone, I'll be like, I am safe. I am safe. And I'll imagine me sitting home safely and not being not her, you know, just being safe. So sometimes you have to stop those intrusive thoughts and just move forward. So, and just kind of imagine what you actually do want. So, um, sometimes I, this is, this is exactly what I taught in one of the modules at my retreat. And it was actually kind of fun. We did a future self meditation and we met our future self and asked how our future selves we were doing. It was it was it was really really cool. And also too, if you struggle with doing this, when you do a meditation, put music on, good music on, and then visualize a big box in front of you, like a big gift box, and just imagine the universe dropping things in it for you, like a house or. Um, a a romance or money or things like that. If you imagine that, then you're actually, you're getting ready to receive and you have to also be prepared to receive. If you're one of those person that, you know, people give you a compliment and you're like, oh no, not me. 
then you need to be practicing receiving. Receiving love, receiving abundance, receiving, um, because sometimes it can come and you can, you can stop it or you can stop it from happening because you're scared or you have fear or you're not ready. You don't think you deserve it. And this also goes back to trauma and shadow work. So do you see why the spiritual realm is so like, You've got, and mental health is so important because we've got to heal. Because when you're healing, you're at a higher frequency, which makes you more powerful than you've ever imagined. So that's why healing is so important. That's why people focus on shadow work. That's why people are focused on all these healing modalities like sound healing and and yoga and all these different things that help us heal and EDM, EMDR. Because... When we heal and we call back our soul and we recollect our soul fractures, we become whole and we become badass, badass manifestors or spell creators or prayers or whatever you want to call it. We create and that's what we were born to do. And of course, there are some frequencies on this earth that don't want us to create, don't want us to raise the frequency. And this is why sometimes we, you know, I We'll get roadblocks or things like that. But you know what? When you realize how powerful you are, these are going to be like, not a breeze because they're still hard, but you're going to understand what's going on. And knowledge is power. And once you realize, okay, this is what's happening, then you become that much more powerful. So, so this is what you need to start doing. Kind of start figuring out what you want and kind of start trying to be in that vibration or, and this is where that whole, I think, you know, fake it till you make it. And I kind of don't love that because I don't love, I don't like a saying being fake, but sometimes you got to do what you got to faith it till you make it. Like feel that vibration and feel what it would be like to be in that position or to reach that goal and act as if sometimes, and then see how it happens or see how it all comes together. So my biggest thing or my biggest takeaway with this is I think I've probably talked about manifesting before, but honestly, you are so, I just, I left this retreat and I loved these women so much and they were so beautiful and so powerful and, but you know what? So are you. And if that's the message, if that's the only message you get from this, from this podcast or from me ever, is that with you, in you lies the power. And I know that's so frustrating because you're like, where, where am I going to find this or why? But you know what? Heal, heal your shit, own your shit. And you will be the most powerful person that you undeniably, undeniably powerful. So I want you to imagine that you are this like amazing, like God or goddess. And and this is not sacrilegious. And, and imagine like your higher self, what you look like and how powerful you are and how magical you are. So when I sit and tell people you have magic in your hands or you have power in your hands or you have power, you're very clairvoyant. We all have this. All of us have these abilities. It's just that some of us are using them and some of us believe in them and some of us are struggling with that. And so you heal your stuff and, and, uh, and here's another thing too, I'm, I know some people are like, well, I've already healed. I'm trying. I'm trying. It's on spirit's time. Just know that. And it's all about timing. But also, too, we've never stopped healing. We never stop growing. There's always something in us that needs to heal or needs to. And if you are going to help others heal, then like I had to, you need to do some very powerful healing yourself. Like before I started doing readings, man, I had some pretty... I had some pretty, pretty bad things I had to move through and process before I could start helping others on their journey. So just know this is why we hide our gifts or this is why we hide our abilities because getting to them can sometimes feel painful or we're scared of it. But I promise you, when you reach the end of this, it is the most amazing thing you will ever do for yourself. And you will feel, you will be you and you will be authentic and you'll be yourself and you will find joy in that. And you will see how very powerful you are. So just remember, you are the magic. I even made these girls at this retreat water bottles that say, 
I am magic because you are the magic. And anytime I see on Instagram, somebody put this person so magical, this person is magic. I think so are you. Don't give your power away. You are magic too. You created this. Yes, they helped you learn. Yes, they helped you on your journey. And yes, they helped you heal. But you are the one who did the work. You are the one who processed it. You, they just helped you figure the way. So, and that's what my, that's what the readings do. They just open that up for you. They open it up to let you know you are loved and you are being watched over and you are being taken care of by your ancestors and your loved ones. And then that opens a whole nother, whole nother realm of, I want to talk to my ancestors. I want to connect to them. And, and then this opens a whole new set of, I am magical kind of, kind of stuff going on. So, You guys, I love you so much. Because of you, I do this. Because of you, this is why I'm here. And I just hope every day that you can just just remember. And this is going to, I think this is going to be my new motto. I've always been like, what do I say at the end of every podcast? What should I say? And and it is going to be this from now on. You are the magic. Please hit the subscribe button so you don't miss an episode.